Hey guys, what's up? I'm Aurora Virus, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 13. We're in uh, Chapter 2. This is Open Doors Beckon. In the Pulse Vestige. So, let's begin, and it's almost time to make a new, uh, dialogue video showing you what all the dialogue stuff says. So now we just gotta, uh... Well, take on... some pantherons. Really shouldn't be that difficult through here. Just simply keep attacking if your health gets low. Use some potions. But... You shouldn't really have a hard time with these. Just keep attacking away. There's one down. And I might as well cancel out one. And there you have it. Another five stars. Two wicked fangs. Alright, let's keep moving on. And like I said, yes, we'll have to face more pantherons. Same as the last ones, just keep attacking. You can blitz if you want to. Since, since they're like really close together, you can blitz them. But, uh... Yeah, when you stagger them, it'll do more damage. And just attack one more time. Boom. Well, okay, now I just gotta wait. There we go. Thank you, Saz. Mr. Afro Man, and a Chip Fang and a Wicked Fang. Now these are uh, easy to preemptive strike on, because if you recall earlier in the game, it says that these do not have a good field of vision, so they're easy to get a preemptive strike on. They're actually more easier to defeat, especially when you get those preemptive strikes on them. Yes, <clears throat> so let's see what's in here. A Phoenix down. So that will help uh, for right now. If you have an, an ally get KO'd or something, you can just use the Phoenix down. And yeah, see, just like that, they're taken care of. They're, yeah, much easier than the Pantherons. So already we've been getting some good amounts of spoils that we can use to either sell or upgrade. Because it's, it's really hard to, to go by Gil, or to get Gil in this game. Unfortunately, I managed to get a preemptive strike on this thing. It's a little troublesome, but not as bad. See, it's, I've already taken out half of uh, its HP. Almost. Yeah, there we go. And another five stars so far. And a Deceptisol, which will make it e a lot easier to... Uh, Get a preemptive strike on enemies. And so, so far we have gotten all five stars in this game. Not that it really matters to me. I'm not like doing a five star run or anything, but uh, see how long I can keep going getting five stars. 
I mean, I'd hope to get all five stars in my battles, which I, I do quite a lot, but, uh... Yeah, sometimes it can be difficult, depending on your... how long the battle takes, and, uh... Yeah, how powerful your characters are. But as to uh, right now, we can't really power up our characters any except for like equipping them with weapons. Stuff, so you get a Gladius, so I'm going to go ahead and equip that in replace of the uh, Blazefire Saber. It's got a little bit more power on it. But uh, yeah, we won't be introduced to the uh, Crystarium until uh, much later on in the game. Not that much later, probably like... Um, well, I know when it is, but I, I forget exactly the chapter, but, uh, yeah, we'll be intro uh, introduced to it then. So already the Gladius is doing pretty well. And I better heal. Yes, you owe me a pizza and a cheeseburger. In every uh, new chapter I complete, I'm gonna make uh, a new video with some dialogues for you to read. That like it says like dialogue updated. It gives you like information about the characters or monsters you faced. I'll uh, let you guys read that, and I'll probably commentate a little bit of that uh, too. Polymer immersion. All right, pretty good. And another cutscene, so I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet here. If those things are still around, might be some soldiers trapped in here too. Except they'd probably be Lassie by now. Huh? Not even human anymore. Just post Lassie. Enemies of Cocoon. Can't show them any mercy. There's the next one. See, yeah, like, like it says, data log updated. Uh, yeah, every time I run into a new chapter from now on, so after chapter 2 ends, I'll show, I'll show you the ones from uh, 1 and 2, and then like when chapter 3 ends, I'll show you the one from chapter 3, uh, the data log, and then, you know, so on and so forth. So that'll, that'll be at the end of this chapter. I'll show you from uh, both chapters the data log. Uh, make a separate video with the data logs and what information they read about the monsters, characters, whatever that you faced so far, or anything else. And we get two potions here. Uh, pretty good. No, we just have to activate that uh, little switch there, but first we gotta de defeat, uh, these three single-handedly. And Hand grenade will do pretty good, knock them off their feet. Yeah, so just like that, we've defeated them. And I will eventually make uh, longer videos, guys. Um, I don't have the banner back yet about uh, the uploading of longer than 15 minute videos, so I'm stuck at 15.30 for now, so... I only uh, use the longer videos when I have to have them, though, but sometimes when I do need them, it's like, yeah... It's like it's really hard to uh, keep them below 15:30 when there are some times that when I need to have it over that, and because this has a good amount of cutscenes in them, some of which can take like five, ten minutes. So, but either way, I mean, I'm still gonna show them <laughs> because it's part of the game. All right. Yes, yeah, so we just had to take that little floor elevator down. So let's get on it. 
Hang on, baby. Your hero's on the way. Hero's on the way. He is here. Calling himself a hero? He's coming our way. What? What should I do? Tell him what you need to. But nothing I say will change what happened. We could just... run away. Uh, uh. And, alright, so now that, uh, that's been taken care of, now we get to be Vanille again, and, uh, just to let you guys know that until Chapter 9, you will not be able to change your party character or leader around. You'll have to stick with what it gives you. For uh, what they said it with, for the uh, specific people. And just get, take care of these uh, easel, easy, easy. Uh, no this, yeah, scandroids. Not that difficult, just, yeah, keep attacking. And, let's see, I think I'm going to wait. I know there was, uh, an item right there, but I'm just gonna go back to the save point and save it for the uh, next episode. And so here we are back at the save points. And so yes, you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for the next episode. Um, we're gonna well carry on in this chapter. So thank you guys for watching as always. And uh be sure to click like on this video. And well, that's gonna do it guys. So thank you guys for watching as always, and uh I'll catch you back here next time for more Final Fantasy 13.